Hi, folks. I'm back on this Wednesday morning, and I'm pleased to say that I got the Vallejo Red on the front of the false, as well as the top of both wings, only showing the attached bottom wing now, without any major issues, no real problems with the masking, with overspray, a slight little bit of bleeding uh, right along there, two dots, and right down at the bottom. And uh, on this side, the line is crystal clear, I think we're pretty close, but you can see there's a little bit of bleeding right in there. Yeah, the demarcation line was <laughs> beat on the curve. It's halfway through that slant uh, on the, the joins the uh, bottom wing to the fuselage. And I kind of thought there might be a little bit of a gap there in the masking tape. Indeed there was, but I can clean that up. And the important thing is we kept the red paint out of the cockpit. And full disclosure, I did touch up the leather trim surround on the cockpit uh, after I pulled off the masking tape. There was no bleeding into the cockpit. That is all going to be painted, the complete thing around the, in a, a, a unifying uh, red leather color, a sort of a medium flat brown. Uh, no leakage in the opening where the machine guns will be located and no leakage in the uh, engine compartment. So, or surprisingly enough, even in the front. Well, actually, I was able to pop a piece of uh, that foam in there. So, I think I'm going to rest on my laurels today. Very happy about this. And uh, we'll pick up on this build sometime tomorrow. Thanks for watching.